Hey friend, Ryan Wakefield here with Social Church and this is your social media tip of the week. Today we're gonna go over a simple checklist on what to do after a big event on social media. And so this past Sunday was Easter, it was awesome, had a great Easter weekend, but now what do you do following that up? I wanna give you five things to think about and then a bonus more advanced tip at the very end. So let's jump right into it. So number one, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you thank Volen Tears. Yes, take time on social media and thank your volunteers for making it happen. And so if you can also include stories of something that you saw that you want really to be a part of your church culture long term, include a story of that when you're thanking people. So if you saw somebody go out of their way, maybe to greet a guest or to go out to lunch with a visitor, or maybe they helped a single mom out of their car in the rain and you're like, man, that's the type of stuff I want to see every single week at our church as a part of our culture, then share that story. Remember, what gets rewarded gets repeated. And we part of what we do to build culture is we share stories. So you're going to want to thank volunteers. Okay, number two is a photo gallery. So take some great photos from the day, put them in an album, and then share that on social media. And to go a step further, if you find maybe some, some of your core team, your key volunteers that are in those photos, you can go ahead and tag those people. Now, you don't want to tag visitors or people that you're not sure if they want to be tagged, but if they're part of your core team that are helping you uh, kind of advance the vision of the church, then tag those people. That tells Facebook that there's real people in these photos and you'll find your reach goes a lot farther when people start tagging. You could also invite people to tag their friends, tag themselves, and you'll see your reach go way up when you get that type of interaction going on with your church and your community. Number three thing you want to do on social media after a big event like Easter is invite people back. And namely, you want to explain why they should care to come back. What is in it for them? What are you going to be covering that next week that's going to make a difference in their life? Yes, we understand, you and I, that the relationship with God is the most important thing in the world. But most people, if they just visited your church, may not be there yet. So you want to explain how you're going to help them take that next step, why it's so important that they come back. And you can do that on social media, which feeds into the number four thing that you want to do on social media is explain the next step. So hopefully your church has some sort of uh, process for visitors, assimilation process for connecting people into the life of your church. For us, it's a welcome party where we invite people, we have food, we have fun, but we explain kind of about the church and yeah, and then their next step after that, if they want to get plugged into a, a life group, uh, that's our small groups, or they want to volunteer or get connected in some way at the church, that's their next step is to come to the welcome party. So you're going to want to make sure what is the next step that you want people to take that visited your church and you want to invite them to take that next step. Now, let me just stop here and say, if you were not a part of our Rethinking Easter series, you can still go to churchmarketinguniversity.com slash Easter and you can check out the series because we gave you a marketing plan, but more than that, we gave you a follow up plan as well. So you can read here, uh, watch this video about uh, your follow up strategy for your church, some things that you can do. Tyler Smith with Text and Church also came on and gave us a great resource of some done for you content, um, of what you can send out via text message, email, which is all done for you as an amazing resource as well. And then we have a follow up plan that you can look at. So even if you're obviously we're past the big event, but you're still looking for follow up resources and ideas, then check out the Rethinking Easter series and just dive in deep into the follow up part of that series as well. We also have in there some Mother's Day ideas because that's the next big event coming up. You can download that PDF as well. So you go to rethinking or it's churchmarketinguniversity.com slash Easter. It's a module, a part of Church Marketing University that's called Rethinking Easter. So be sure you check that out. So let's jump into number five. And this is you're going to want to search and follow up on social media with anybody who commented, reviewed, liked, shared, whatever it is, you're going to do a search or look at your notifications. If you get notifications via email or through your, you know, like on Facebook, your manager, 
Go in and look at the conversations going on. Maybe you asked them to use a specific hashtag or, or people were taking photos at your church. Then you want to interact with those people. You want to maybe start conversations. You want to thank people for, for coming. If they left a review, you can thank them for doing that as well. If there's any sort of negative issues, if somebody had a bad experience, you can follow that up as well. But you had this big event, but now you need to take the time to carry on those conversations. If a lot of churches I talk to, they're always saying, why can't we get people to have uh, dialogue, leave comments on our social media. Well, if they're leaving comments and you're not commenting back, you're not at least liking back, or you're not responding to them and having a conversation, then you're building a culture where you're saying, hey, we don't really want any sort of conversation or feedback. So now's a great time after a big event, make sure you go back through all your notifications and follow up with those people, uh, thank them for commenting or answer the questions or give them some, some feedback as well. But you're gonna wanna do that. That is number five, is search for those conversations and follow up with those people. And then here's your bonus idea, a little bit more advanced, but uh, it is to run ads to people who recently visited your church. Here's what I'm talking about. So in Facebook, it gives you the ability to do a custom audience. Essentially, what I'd recommend is take your Connect cards, maybe from the last month, including Easter or your big event, and you, all the people that are new, you're going to put all those emails into a spreadsheet. Then you're going to upload that spreadsheet to Facebook, and you're going to tell Facebook, I want to build an audience of these people. And then you can run ads to that audience. So essentially what you're doing is you're going to say, hey, Facebook, here are all the visitors uh, to our church over the last month. I want to run a specific ad to them. More than likely, you're going to invite them back to your next uh, service that's coming up or sermon series or that next step. And you can target them to make sure that they're seeing about your church on social media leading up to that next event. You could also continue to build that custom audience all the way through your next event like Mother's Day. It's a little bit more of an advanced approach and obviously I'm kind of keeping this topic to specifically social media. We could talk about email marketing and some other things that you can do. And we do talk about that inside Church Marketing University, but I wanna keep this tip specific to what you can do on social media. So that's it. It's really important that when you have a big event, you do these strategic things. Again, thank volunteers, do a photo gallery, invite people back for the next service, explain the next step, do a search and follow up with anybody who liked, commented, just shared, uh, and used your hashtag. And then that advanced one we talked about is retarget your visitors with Facebook ads. That's it. That's this social media tip of the week. Again, would love to have you come over and check out the Rethinking Easter series, even if you're just looking for a follow-up strategy for after a big event. Check that out, and we'll see you guys next week.